Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at the brand new Daniel Jones. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So the subscribe button, turn the notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We're live almost every single night over on Twitch, so if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. Like I said, link down in the description. All right, so here is Daniel Jones. He's got 91 speed, 98 throw power, 92 short, 94 mid, 91 deep, 90 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, and a 96 play action. And today we are rocking with full play fake and full sprinter on Daniel Jones, putting him to a 96 overall. And looking at Danny's stats, this card looks like it's going to be very, very good. Is he going to be 500k worth good? Probably not, but I think this card's going to play very solid. And for you Giants theme teamers, this card's a big W. Uh, I mean, he has the speed, the throw power, the good accuracy, good throw on the run. He's 6'5", 93 acceleration. And this card having 93 acceleration is very, very important because on cards like this who, who cannot get a skate artist, you're going to feel that he has a low acceleration. But thankfully, they gave Daniel Jones 93 acceleration. And there were many times earlier in the year where I said that Daniel Jones's next upgrade could be the best QB in the game, but obviously the quarterback landscape has changed a whole lot. We got a glitchy Rich Gannon card. We got Mike Vick. So, I mean, a lot has changed since then, but if this card was just like a normal like set card and he was going for like 200K, 170K in that range, then yeah, Daniel Jones is worth going to get. But this card, keep in mind, he's like a limited time card. He's going for like, I think I bought him for like 570K. So the lowest he'll probably drop to is like, 450 400 maybe so even at 400k i don't know if danny's gonna be worth going to get i don't know but let's hit, let's head down to the ball carrier stats um daniel jones at least they got the carrying right 65 carrying honestly should be lower but um they definitely got that right the 83 cod 80 ball carrier vision um so even though he has the speed he's actually t a terrible runner like 61 break tackle 53 juke 40 45 spin yeah this card died he has the speed, but I'd be scared to run with him. I really would be. That's that's kind of crazy. I thought I thought they were gonna give him a much better, at least like juke and spin maybe. Cause I'm, I feel like Daniel Jones, he's pretty quick. He, he's a pretty good ball carrier. For a while there, he actually had more rushing yards than Lamar Jackson. But I mean, that probably changed now. But um, yeah, some of the abilities in Daniel Jones is a field general archetype QB. In the X-Factor slot today, we're rocking Omaha. One of my favorite X-Factors in the game for QBs. In the first slot, here's what he gets. Identifier, 2 AP, lofting dead eye, inside zone. I, mean, I, said, I said inside zone. Inside dead eye, indoor baller, long range, red zone, sideline. Uh, so kind of your traditional your uh, traditional uh, field general QB um, abilities. Gets conductor for 1 AP. I actually kind of want to try conductor. Should we try? Can we, should we just try conductor today? Yeah, I'm going to try conductor today, man. I'm going to try quick snapping dudes all day today. So we're, we're going to run conductor, set feet, and high route master. But in the second slot, here's what he gets. I, don't think, I think it's the same as the first slot on this card. Yeah, same as the first slot, so all the same abilities. And in the third slot, he does get high route master, fearless, pass lead elite, closer, threat detector, comeback. And this card does not get gunslinger. He has to have 95 throw power and be a 95 overall, so he does miss that by, I believe, one throw power and one overall. So this card was this close to being another gunslinger, high route master QB in the game, and he does not get escape artist. Um, we're still waiting for, um, I mean, 97 overall for escape artist on these cards, which, is, which we should get pretty soon i feel like a 97 field general with over 82 speed should be around the corner but that is 4 ap which is very very expensive and i don't, I don't think ea is changing the ap on escape artists for field general qbs but um you only gets giants cams and like i said full play fake full sprinter but i mean let's just hop right into it i'm definitely excited to use this daniel jones card today i'm probably gonna try him on a read option every once in a while because i mean he has 91 speed he should be able to run it fine and um yeah the plan is just to go out there and win a game with daniel jones and just try not to fumble just I know it's hard for Daniel, but just don't fumble, Danny. It's, it's, it's not that hard. All right, here we go. That is his top three, and I think this might be the first ever Browns theme team I've ever faced. He had Hayden, and he had Sam Mills. I didn't see who the last... I don't remember who the last guy was, but he had Joe Hayden on the, on the Browns theme team. I wonder who else... He, he probably has Baker. I'm not... Is there a good Nick Chubb in the game? I don't think, I don't think there's a good Nick Chubb yet, but we are starting off today's game here on offense and i gotta turn down my game sound it's too loud in my ears right now but here we go all right so there's danny right there in the backfield um hopefully we got Dion open he actually oh forgot he changed up the defense on us oh we loki a free runner damn get it there danny get it there danny there we go good down right there from daniel jones showing off that release the set feet put in work and i have been using vic recently so 
if you see me, you know, choking up with some right-handed QBs, like right there, I should have thrown that way earlier, but I thought I was still using Vic. But um, yeah, good throw right there from Daniel Jones. And now I think this might be time. I'm only gonna run it once. I just wanna try a read option. I wanna see what the read option can do for Danny. It's here. Oh, he makes he makes three for the running back, unfortunately. Damn, okay. All right, here we go. Let's go back to my bread and butter. And that is a uh, pistol bunch tight end. I think it's what it's called. I don't even know what the formation is called. I should probably know what it's called by now, but we should have Randy open sideline. There's that Sefi putting in work. All right, I'm gonna run the ball once just to kind of keep this guy honest and keep him on his toes, but we should have the outside here. Cut a field, a little spin right there from Alexander. Juke that back, and there's Sean Alexander putting in the finest of work right there. Man, I've been loving this Sean Alexander card. He actually is just so, so good, man. The amount of broken tackles he gets. Even I don't, I'm not even running abilities on him either. That's the scary thing. I see a pretty good hope in the middle. Can Dan okay, never mind. It, it just got closed up, but Danny, are you a fighter, man? And just don't fumble, Danny, please. Up the middle, Daniel Jones. And that's not going to work. I'm going to call no huddle here. Please, please, please. One, one, one touchdown for Daniel Jones. Is he a fighter? Oh, oh God, no. Danny. One yard, Danny. And we don't. Danny's not a fighter. Danny is not a fighter. We come up empty on the first drive. And now we're on defense. Wow. I cannot believe that Daniel Jones could not fight for us right there, man. Where's this ball going? Make a play on the football. There we go. McCourty's going to go ahead and make a play. And the score is still 0-0. Even though we did drive down and get stopped at the one-yard line, um, this guy's going to leave the game on that. So... I don't know. We had no touchdowns, I guess, with Daniel Jones in the first game. Uh, let's hop into game two. The score was literally 0-0, and this dude just quit. I don't even know what to say. I'm watching underneath here. Throws it underneath, and we do pick the ball off right there with McCourty. His second interception of today's gameplay, man. Uh, this is more of a Devin McCourty gameplay than a Daniel Jones gameplay, it's looking like. So here we go. Um, what's he playing right now? We should have Sean open. Sean open in the flat. Juke that. And there's Isaiah Simmons making a play. Let's see if we have someone open. I just hope we get Gronk or someone, man. We're struggling right now to move this football, but... And another free runner. We have two people standing there picking Dana lines, but somehow this guy's got another free run right at me, and we're not in the best scenario. Uh, Daniel Jones is low on energy. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout for him, man, but... Yeah, this is not looking good for us. I'm just going to try the middle of the field here with the cover, too. I'm just going to hope that... I'm just going to hope that Randy has good enough speed to beat the, to beat the guy at the middle because he's, he's been running the stock cover, too. I was going to get a free runner, which I think we might. Good blocks right there. Get it there, Danny. Why was that throw under pressure? But still a dot from Daniel Jones. I'm not sure what that release was. If you missed the release, go back and watch it. He threw, he threw like a jump pass off his back foot, but it was still, here it is right here. What was that? I guess that's Daniel Jones. Is, is that, that can't be his deep release. There's no way. Here we go. I'm going to try to get a little zig rat open here. Going to have him wide open. Scary Terry cooked that man. Juke that back. Scary. Oh, I actually almost had that. Should have Gronk. Oh, no, he... With Omaha, I still throw a pick. I'm so bad. I'm I'm giving Danny Dimes a bad rep right now, dude. He's not going to have that free runner like he did last time. You're going to have to throw it right here with Vic. But, man, bro, I, like, I would have had Gronk open. I, I saw the man coverage. He had a curl flat and a hard flat out there. So, I kind of had to do that. But, man, that's just... I'm not going to be able to go to sleep tonight thinking about that throw. And I'm sure everyone's already commented Helen Keller in the comment section, too, which is just great to see. You know, you love when you're insecure about your Madden skills. Then the whole comment section is just, Helen Keller, you're blind. LOL, you're terrible. Ha ha ha. Like, like, it's always great to see that in my comment section. So thank you to everyone who already commented that. Um, and if you're now just commenting that because I'm saying that, I, I can't say what I want to say on YouTube. I, I can't. I still can't believe I threw that. I mean, I, I I'm telling you guys, my red zone offense is actually the worst in the whole Madden community. I'm not, it's not even a joke. I mean... I mean, yes, I, I gotta watch a few YouTube videos. You know, I might buy, I might buy a few eBooks. I might, you know, I might, I might blow the bank trying to learn a red zone offense. So maybe next video, I have some extra time today. I'm, I'm gonna learn a red zone offense today. You know, what? I'm gonna learn how to pass in the red zone because that's my biggest, that's my biggest downfall. Stop and go right there. Terry's gone. There we go. No, we're not. That's Isaiah Simmons. Nope, Isaiah Simmons. <laughs> Isaiah Simmons gives me nightmares. Like, and now we're back in the red zone. Oh no, 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 no. Should have this corner the end zone, Danny. Danny Dimes, let's go, baby. Touchdown, Daniel Jones. That was a, that was a scary pass. I'm not sure why both these guys are playing like underneath Deion Sanders, but Danny got it there. The set feet he threw the laser back corner of the end zone for his second TD of the gameplay so far, man. Um, yeah, but like he, he should have way more than that. We should have four with him right now. If I wasn't just Helen Keller in the red zone, bro. All right, here we go. We're facing Status F H Y. And he's rocking with Escape Artist, Gunslinger Vic, Bobby Wagner, and Cam Chancellor. Looks to be a Seahawks theme team with Mike Vic at the helm. And this game should be tough because 
Mike Vig with Escape Artist and Gunslinger is never fun to face, so... I still have... Get it there, Danny! Under pressure! Good dot right there from Danny. He said inaccurate, but that was right where I wanted it. Be Deion sideline? That's not Deion touchdown. It toes and bounds. Let's go. Danny throws another dot right there. Let's go, baby. Um, that's his third of the gameplay, man. Um, third of the gameplay. And like I said earlier, we should have a whole lot more with Danny. Um, I, I've done him. I've done him very, very dirty. All right, so man defense. I don't know a single man that can guard Randy Moss. So this should be a touchdown unless he's sending blitzes at me. I think he is. Good pressure. I'm just gonna hit Gronk. I'm not sure if I would have had enough time for Randy. Touchdown. There we go. Gronk's gonna walk in right there. Gronk on the team. Team's just too fast. He's too good. I don't know. I, Gronk's always open on that route. Even against some of the fastest corners in the game. Deion Sanders doesn't matter. Gronk is always open. We're gonna watch out under. Nope. Gonna go over the top here. He, he, want, he wants Devin Hester. Beat him there. Beat him there. Picked off right there by Kendall Floyd. Let's get it, baby. Journal. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Good, good work. Stop. Hold up. Nah, he's too fast. All right. So three interceptions on three drives for um Saddest FHY. And this guy's a pretty good team. He's gonna quit on that. So all right, guys. So that's gonna do it for the Daniel Jones gameplay. And I really, really wish this card was actually reasonably priced. If this card was not like one of those limited time cards, I would say go get him. I love this card, man. The speed, the throw, power, his release. Get set feet. Gets the high route master. Daniel Jones is such a good QB. But the problem, like I said, is this card's literally going for like 500k right now. 550, 400k in that range. So this card's not worth that. He's simply just not worth that. But if he does drop down into that like 250k range, 200k range, maybe... But will he ever drop to that range? Probably not. But Daniel Jones, man, definitely a top five QB in the game right now. I really, really enjoyed this card today, man. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun using Danny Dimes today. But but uh, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the skateboard emoji down in the comment section for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. And the video helped you out, over to the video. Be sure to that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.